Have you ever been inbox zoned, ignored, or worse, left on red? Hi, my name is Kristen and on this channel, we talk about long distance relationships and faith. On this month of February, we are going to jumpstart a new series called Ghosting Away. On Ghosting Away, we are going to talk about related topics on this touchy subject that is often dodged by many, especially those who are on the receiving end. Hey, it's okay to be ghosted. There's nothing shameful with loving someone genuinely. If anything, it's more shameful on their end. Think about it. How can anyone just leave without any explanation? While there are some different levels of ghosting being acceptable, it is still painful on the receiving end, even if it's a tiny bit. Believe me, I know how you feel because I personally personally have been ghosted. So know that you're not alone and that you can freely talk about this subject. Ghosting is actually quite common. It's just that no one feels safe to talk about it. So we are going to tackle this topic head on. And I want this channel to be able to help you process those things and that you're not alone trying to figure things out by yourself. So I've gotten inquiries about ghosting from people who would like to keep their identities private and that is the reason why we have this series. And since your girl Kristen cares <laughs> we're gonna do it so let's go okay so what is ghosting ghosting by definition is a colloquial term used to describe the act of seizing or stopping all communication or contact with someone and this is done usually without any warnings or explanation it's basically a conscious effort to ignore any attempts to reach out that is made by the receiving end so for example i ghosted you and you tried to reach to me and i will just choose to ignore you in short you've just been dropped it sounds harsh but that's because it really is. And that is the reason why those who have gone through this experience is often left confused, deeply hurt, and traumatized. But then again, the pain usually varies depending on the level of ghosting. So let's talk about the four different levels of ghosting and let's give them a score on the pain scale, one being the lowest and 10 being the highest. So level one is when you're just getting to know each other and you're just talking casually and you're probably just starting to get to know the person and you don't have much background about them. So once you get ghosted by them, I would say that the pain would have to be just around one because the level of intimacy is not yet formed and there's no reason for you to feel attached just yet. So if this has happened to you, then perhaps it's okay and it's easily acceptable, although it might still be painful because you probably already liked them at the start, but then again, you don't really know them personally. Level two would be the dating phase. So this one might be when you've gone to a few dates or online dates. You probably both already like each other and you probably have a little bit of intimacy built already. The pain could vary from somewhere around three to five. And that's because you have already formed a bond with this person and you know what they like you've seen them before or you've been able to mingle and interact in different ways that you probably really like and then for them to just disappear of course it's going to give you pain and it's going to hurt because you don't know the reason why and then level three would be when you're both in a committed relationship with each other this is where you're together for a few months or even years already and then suddenly they decide to ghost you the pain level here would have to go higher depending on how deep you guys have been in in your relationship and how far you've both invested and committed with each other. So I would say the pain level would be around 5 to 8. And then the last level, level number 4, which I really hope that you would never have to go through, is marriage. So this one is really serious. I would say that this is level 10 or even maybe more than that because think about it. You guys are married. You probably already have kids. You probably have your whole life built together already and then suddenly they just disappear out of nowhere or they decide to leave you just like that. So these are the four different levels of ghosting and depending on how far you are in your relationship with the person who ghosted you, of course the pain will be different per person. You may even experience the pain of rejection or abandonment or that you're not worthy or that you don't have any value or that you, you made so much mistakes and that you think that it's your fault. But really, there could be many different factors that have affected their decision to do that to you. So if you feel that this series is going to help you process your breakup or your ghosting experience, feel free to leave me a comment down below and let me know how you experience ghosting. My inbox on Instagram at Kristen Gapassin is also open for those who would like to seek advice, coaching, or some words of encouragement. And if you feel that you're willing, I could even pray for you. And since you are already on this video, might as well learn a new term. So there's this new term called haunting that is basically a branch or an extension of ghosting. So haunting happens usually
immediately after you've been ghosted. And haunting is like this sneaky ninja attack that they do where they have cut all their communications with you or contact with you but then they still follow you and occasionally they might like your posts or view your story just for them to kind of stay in your mind. And let me just tell you if you know that that person is not meant to stay in your life just don't mind the haunting that they're doing. It's not called haunting for no reason. It's scary. You wouldn't want to let your life get caught up with the past where you should really be moving on. And yet, yeah, know that you are not ugly and you are not unworthy. You deserve a love that is meant for you. And since we are already on the topics of breakups, I was able to guess on a podcast called International Love Story. And there you will hear my advices and take on breakups in long distance relationships. I will leave their link down below so you can go and hear it. And of course, I'm not going to leave you empty handed I want you to bring something home with you but then you're probably already in your home watching this on your device so like Anyway, in line with the Ghosting Away series, I have created a product just for you. Consider looking at the free download and if you truly, truly, truly like it, there will be more details down below in the description box. Stay tuned for more announcements as I try my very best working really hard to give something to you that will help serve you. For you who is listening right now and you want to be able to find your God's best, I'm going to do an early, early announcement that in March, we will have a new series about finding your God's best. And as we further the reach of the channel, I would like to ask for your prayers if opening up a podcast would also be something that our audience would like. If you find value in this video, consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell for more long distance relationship topics and fate talks. And as always, I will see, see you later. Hey, it's okay to be ignored. <laughs> hey, it's okay to be ghosted. There's nothing shameful with accepting the fact that what the, did I just say? Well, there are different... Don't mind my little balloon happenings over here because Kristen cares is Kristen 30 years old now. <laughs> That's why so there was a birthday that happened in all communication and con con contact with someone. And of course, I'm not gonna leave, leave you empty ham tempt. <laughs>